video tutorial from tradingfootball.eu and this time we're looking at the scattergun strategy which was developed um, by our veteran member and trader Gundorf who is known to most of you in the chat room as a purveyor of high-end motor cars a master of dry wit and he's not a bad trader too. Um, the scattergun simply involves backing 1-1, one, 1-2 one, one, and 2-1 and after about so to say 20 minutes or so into the game if 2-2 happens to reach odds of around about 25 to 1 uh, we can back that as well now that training football we do as you probably notice tend to um, adhere to a principle principle of protecting our bank so as an additional um, cover for this for the for this particular trade um, we have backed under 1.5 for five pounds and that gives us a 50 percent cover um, in case of a loss of the 24 pounds liability we have on the correct score market this is an option of course uh, and one which uh, gundorf himself the uh, creator of this particular strategy uh, wouldn't use so we're into the game and Viking scored after 30 minutes the away side to make it nil one now at this point um, that's not such a bad moment for the uh, particular strategy for the trade um, but we want to take some cover so nil two we're going to back that and nil one as well now if it remains nil one um, we've got a liability there of ten pounds but that will then be covered by the £11 green we have on the under 1.5 goals. Uh, our dangers, therefore, are going to be nil 2 and nil 3 So at this particular point, coming up to half-time, um, we're really hoping that Valerenga, the home side, will equalise and that will put into play the green we have on 1-1, one, 1-2 one, one, and 2-1. And Valerenga duly scored the equaliser, which is good news for us. Now, at this particular point, um, we're 48 minutes into the game. Um, you've got an option here, uh, well, a, f a number of options. You can either try and uh, trade out and exit the trade for an overall profit. Um, at this particular point, it didn't really give us, I think it probably would have given us around about a £3 overall profit, which, okay, is, uh, is what in one sense is okay, you're protecting your bank, but and we've still got this very healthy sort of green on the 2-1 and 1-2, so let's do something with that. So as a secondary option, um, we can also um, lay, as we did there, the 1-1, one, 1-2 one, one, and 2-1. Uh, and it went to 2-1, just as I posted those particular lay instructions into the chat room. So a number of people um, actually didn't get those lays matched. And um, Viking uh, scored to make it 1-2. Uh, um, pretty soon, uh, well, around about 20 seconds after um, the instructions were actually sort of posted by myself um, in, in the chat room. So we had to uh, rather juggle around uh, for, for those particular uh, members who didn't get matched. Um, and this video here obviously follows um, the trade as it stood for me. In other words, I did get matched and therefore I was able to follow um, the trade until its entirety um, having had those particular lays matched and it's 1-2 and now obviously the 1-1 one, one has gone the 2-1 has gone and all we're left with is some green on the 1-2 and this very big green on the 3-3 three, three. now ideally at this point around about 70 minutes uh, we would love Valerenga the home side to equalize to make it 2-2 two, two. I've put a, a lay in at 1 2 for £10. And I'm seeing a sort of a what if figure here by also laying the 3 3. But I want to keep that. You know, it might sound greedy, but if you've got 150 odd green there, you're now in a position where you're not going to lose on the trade. Um, you know, 
keep uh, keep that sort of maximum potential profit uh, as much as you can. It's pointless sort of laying that three three there, you know, whatever it was at forty to one uh, for around about sort of four pounds. Um, it, it's it's not actually worth it at all in the long term. So here I am. I'm going to be chipping away at this one two. I, I think there'll be another goal here. I mean, there's sort of what ten minutes, fifteen minutes to to play. So. I'm accepting that by laying that one two again, which I did for six pounds at uh, 2.96. Um, I'm hoping for another goal, and I've decided rather than to lay the one two again, I'm just going to back one three and two two. Occasionally, it's tempting just to simply put in a lay. Um, of a score line where you've got some green. So that green there at £23.75 we have um, is going to be our profit less the £5 uh, that we've lost on the under 1.5 market. And as a very, very last precautionary measure, I laid 2.2 2 at 1.02 for £10 for a 20 pence liability. So there's our profit there of £23.55 less the five pounds red on the under 1.5 market so that's an 18 pounds profit around about sort of 60 65 percent return on investment